If you have a table saw, you need a crosscut sled. I just got a new table saw, so now I need a new sled. So I've taken what I learned from the old sled and made an improved design. It's fairly compact, so it can store in a small area. The back fence is only an inch and a half tall, and that way my fingers can reach further, because this is the most comfortable way to hold stock. The bridge, or the high part over the blade, is wide enough that my thumbs can't quite reach. This is just a safety feature. The back fence has a reinforcement right in the center, which adds strength over the kerf, and it also helps keep the fence vertical and square to the table. Now here's a cool feature. The back fence has some oversized holes for adjustment, but you're gonna have to wait until I get to that part of the build to see how that works. If you wanna build one like this yourself, there is a link in the description to a free SketchUp drawing. So now let's get on with the build. I started by cutting the base to size. Then I made the runners. To make these runners the right width, I could just turn the rod on my fence. And there I got a nice fit. Now I'm using some stacks of washers to space them up so they're just above the tabletop. Spread some glue on the runners, put the top on, and then weight that down. After that sat for a little bit, I can flip it over and pre-drill and add some screws. This might be unnecessary, but it doesn't hurt. And that looks like it works. Now I'm cutting the front and back fences to rough size. This is the reinforcement on the back fence. And you can probably tell my normal workflow. Bandsaw, sander, and then router table. Now that piece gets glued down to the back fence. Right in the center. Now the front and back fences will get screwed together. Here I'm using the table saw to true up the, all the fences and make them flush and square. Now I'll use the bandsaw to cut that out. And you can see how those screws landed in the off-cut area. So once those are cut apart, they're separate again. Then I can just sand those smooth. Here I'm making the reinforcement flush to the fence. And then adding a round over on the front and back fences. Here I'm using the table saw to cut a kerf in the base and this gives me a line of where not to put screws. So there you can see that kerf. Now I'm just clamping that front fence down with some glue. This is just structural so it doesn't need to be square. And adding some screws. Now for the back fence, I first chamfered the bottom edge for a little dust relief. Then I pre-drilled and added two screws right near the middle. There's no glue on this one. Now with those two screws, there's a little bit of wiggle room. So that fence can actually pivot a little bit yet. So I'm making sure it's approximately square. Now I'm pre-drilling an eighth inch hole, two inches deep, and then a quarter inch hole, an inch and a half deep. Now I can add a two inch screw. So since that's a quarter inch hole, it has a little bit of adjustment. And the same thing on the other end of the fence. Now I'm cutting that initial kerf. Now I'm using the five cut method to figure out if it's square. And if you're not familiar with this, you basically just make a cut on a piece of wood and then turn it so that the cut edge is against the fence and make another cut and just keep doing that until on the fifth cut you end up with this little piece. And this is basically five times as far off as your fence is. And to square that, just tap it with a mallet. Now, there's all kinds of complicated math to figure out how to 
get this exactly right, but I just used trial and error until I got an accurate five cut. Now I can just add some screws, which will lock that in place so it can't turn. And applying some paste wax to the bottom to help it slide a little easier. And make sure to get the runners too. And it's done. So that's a very simple afternoon project and it works good on small pieces and big pieces. And again, if you want to build one like this yourself, there is a free SketchUp drawing linked in the description.